Hey guys, this is my update one for my lip products project pen. So I'm going to just go through with you and tell you I only oops I only have this products with me right now because I am not living at home now and I had to grab whatever I could and get the hell out of there. So these two are not even inside the project pen right now, but I'm going to add them into the project pen. So let me just go through with you. I have the list over here. First up I had this Tart Tartis Lip Paint Birthday Suit. That is inside Malaysia, inside my cupboard. And then the next one that I have is the Aperia Impression Lip Velvet in 500 Rose Bay. Very nice name. That is also inside Malaysia. So those two I've used uh, here and there because they're all color products. So they're not as easy to use up compared to like, say like a lip balm. Roman Lip Metal is the next one that I had inside my intro and I'm all done with that which I would already have the clip inserted here. I used it all up because I used it every single day over any lipstick that I had just to mattify the finish. I like it but now that I've used up the whole thing, I realize I don't really need it <laughs> so I will not be repurchasing that but it was definitely a good experience because I've always wanted to try that kind of thing. And then the next up, the next thing that I finished up is called the Lush Lip Scrub in Cranberry Fizz. This was my f this was my first ever Lush product which my sister actually gave it to me and it's inside this Cranberry Fizz flavor which is really just like uh, cranberry raspberry soda. I used up the whole thing but I did not use it only for my lips. I used it on other areas like my hands and like knees and like elbows. That's how I managed to use it up because it was definitely already way past the expiry date and large products always have a short expiry date so I'm glad that that is out of my collection now. Next up I have this Eureka Dual Lip Tattoo Pen. I stupidly packed it into my luggage. Well, not my luggage, my boxes that's inside the warehouse right now. So you will never ever see that product until I move and move and move again to the final house. So we're gonna keep him inside the product, uh, inside the project, but we're not going to have any progress on him, which is why I'm adding in products. Next up on the list is this one, which is the Dr. Lip 100% Natural Moisturizing Lip Tint in Elderberry Tint. So it's an elderberry pigment. This is 8ml and I am very on the fence with this one because I kind of want to declutter it but I just hate decluttering a product that I cannot like give on to some give give to someone else. So I want to use it up. So actually I'm going to continue and have this in the project pen and I hope to use it up before my next update. So this one doesn't seem like I've made any progress because it's very thick and uh, gooey for lack of a better word. So I don't use a lot each time I squeeze out. So let's see, if I squeeze it out, actually not bad. Oh, no product is coming out yet. Okay, almost coming out. So I am halfway through. I still have this whole thing over here and you really don't use a lot each time and it is starting to go off a little bit. It never really had like a pleasant scent to it. It always just like was very light scent. So there is no um, fragrance to cover it. <laughs> Well, but that's because it is uh, fragrance and additive-free, additive, additive free. it is 100% natural. So it sounds really good as a product, I hope to use it up. So I'm halfway through this right now. Next up, oh, I finished this product and I have it here to show you because I just finished this up like 3 days ago. This is from Innisfree and I love it so much but I really really had to use this up because I had this for 3 years. I think I bought this like 3 years ago in in this free shop in Korea. So if I really screw it up until you can hear the sound, there is still a little bit of product but I've been trying <laughs> to get that product for the past one week and I just can't get it out. I'm just scraping my lip because the other side is completely flat. I've also tried to like go in and take out some product and do that. After a while, I just got irritated and tired. So I'm calling this product done. So that's another product out of my lipstick project pen. Once I go through more of my lipsticks, this is one product that I definitely will repurchase and I recommend you to do so because it is like transforming your lips. It really just moisturizes and adds a very healthy, nice color to it. I just bought mine in the shade 1. No name. I don't know, it's of Korean words. 
Okay, so the original, last original product that was inside this project pan is from Burt's Bee and I really think I'm going to finish this soon. So this is the original, it's just like peppermint and vitamin E, beeswax lip balm. It's at the point where when I screw it up, it doesn't go down anymore, there's an eyelash inside that I don't know how to pluck it out. I will have the intro somewhere here. Or if not, I'll link the video. But I am here now and I honestly am a little bit scared because I don't have other lip balms. So this is my... I'm only like keeping this for just my nighttime skincare routine. It smells totally fine. Still smells like peppermint and toothpaste. I cannot wait to use my coconut one. And this is not going down, like I said. So I'm going to be more sparing with this. But definitely use this up eventually. Okay, because of that, I'm going to be adding in a lip gloss, which my, which is what I'm going to, um, like I'm not going to use lip balm in the morning, I'm just going to use this one. Yeah, that's what it's going to replace. So this is from the brand VYVYD, and it's this like lip vinyl, it's very cool retro uh, music packaging. So this is in the shade number 5. I'm pretty sure it was like a coral looking colour, so what I do is, you can see, um, I actually you can see a lot of products. I just dip like ever so slightly, one tiny little dot and then I just spread. I always, I never use this, I always use my finger and just tap it. So this is going to last a long while. It gives me the gloss, uh, not too sticky, the moisturization, but also a light colour because I use so little of it. I got this shortly after I moved to Malaysia, so which means I got it like a few days before I came back to Singapore. So I had this for like only around uh, one month plus but I'm using it every single day so I thought why not just put it into the project pan to make sure that after I move back to Malaysia I still continue to use this product and not forget about it. Another product which is the only lipstick I, that I currently have right now in this house with me and this is from the face shop but it looks very different because this is their other line which is FMGT so this is the Rouge Powder Matte. The packaging is so nice right? It's already dirty. I got this once again shortly after I moved to Malaysia so it's really just like one month ago. Uh, it looks pretty much brand new but since it is my only lipstick, I will be working on this. Ooh, oops. Oh, I got it on my ring. <laughs> uh, it's fine. <laughs> How I use this is I give it a light pet 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 and then I just and that's it. <laughs> so uh, I don't I don't see a lot of progress uh, but it isn't a lot right so I'm just gonna call this my only lipstick and put this inside the project pen. It's a very wearable color so I think it's gonna survive well inside the project pen. So those are all the products that I currently own and have right here right now. Oh this is done so those are the only products that I can use right now and I will do hopefully by the time I do update too I'm back in Malaysia and I can show you the progress on the other products that I still have too. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!